We've already taken a pretty close look at the American variant of the Samsung Galaxy S4 at Pocket Now this week. It is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 quad-core processor. But something else just showed up at the Boston offices of Pocket Now, replete with a very intimidating-looking warning label. Within this box is an 8-core smartphone, specifically the Samsung Galaxy S4, with an octa-core processor. So we thought... To close out the week, it would be a good idea to pop open this box, then open the box inside that box, and show you that 8-core smartphone. I'm Michael Fisher. This is Pocket Now. Let's take a look inside the box. So one of the nice things about uh, getting the American versions of the Galaxy S4 was that we got them a bit early. Uh, one of the unfortunate disadvantages of that was that we didn't get any retail packaging because we got them uh, so early. So first of all, thanks to Samsung for getting us those American variants early. Uh, and thanks also to Negri Electronics for shipping us this international version, hopefully with retail packaging. Yes, indeed. OK, so getting a little closer into the box, you can see this kind of faux wood grain on the, uh, on the cardboard here. Uh, that's kind of uh, an interesting choice. I guess it's, um, I'm not exactly sure what's what's motivating that since Samsung has not been pushing the uh, polished river stone theme that they started with the Galaxy S3 this time around. But uh, in any case, it's a nice looking box. The presentation is certainly enjoyable. It's interesting. Not sure if this is intentional, but it is. It does have a separation here, you can see. Uh, it doesn't doesn't really close all the way, but that's that's kind of cool. If that is intentional, we like that. So let's go ahead and Pop it open here using the sticker as a hinge. And there is our device front and center just the way we like it with a sticker calling out its features uh, right on front. So let's see if we can get the device out of here. We're going to put this aside for one second. Now, some of you have asked us to give a little more attention to what is actually inside the box rather than just immediately tossing it aside. And since this unboxing is closing out our week and we have a little bit of time because we're not exactly the first to do this unboxing, uh, why don't we do that? This is a Samsung handbook. This is a Samsung manual, quick start guide, and a quick start guide in another language. Uh, we're not going to flip through those books because uh, that would take a while. And also, not a lot of people read the manual. Maybe that'll be a feature in the future. Headphones here, one of the things I wanted to talk about, and which I think I called out in the full review, is that these have been redesigned somewhat. Uh, you can see it's more like a linguine noodle rather than a spaghetti noodle on the previous set of uh, Samsung earbuds that came with the Galaxy S3 and the American versions of the Galaxy Note 2. And also, the buttons on the throat controller here have been uh, enlarged a bit. And, uh, oh, very nice. The corners here have been rounded so that when it gets hung up on your collar, maybe it won't stick as badly. That will be very nice. Typical earbuds here, that's exactly the way they look. If you like those, they go right into your brain shut out all outside noise, but don't chew any chips while you have them on or you will blow out an eardrum, probably. Citation needed. USB cable in white, uh, despite our midnight black phone. Here is our Samsung battery, same milliamp hour as on the American unit, 2600 milliamp hours, and a uh, USA power adapter there. What else is in here? Anything? Yes, extra buds for when you get wax all over the included set. It feels like I haven't gotten to do this in a while. One of my favorite parts of any unboxing, the film peel. Let's go ahead and take this right off. Oh, yeah. Definitely nudged the mic there, but uh, hopefully you got a little sense of that, that beautiful sound. Let's try that again one more time on the back we get to do. Yes. That is the sound of money well spent, hopefully, if you, if you bought this phone and you, you really wanted it. And while we pop the battery into the unit, I will reiterate that the primary difference here is that 8-core processor, that headline-grabbing Exynos 5 octa-core running at, I believe, 1.6 gigahertz, if my cheat sheet is not lying to me. And there's our initial power on. We have the LED. And a reformulated Samsung boot jingle. Well, that's very nice. No carrier splash screen because this is the unlocked global variant, and we are prompted immediately to enter our preferred language and start the setup process. So with the displays powered off here, you can tell it is very, very difficult to tell the difference between the international and the American version of the Samsung Galaxy S4. The principal difference being one is emblazoned Galaxy S4, the other 
completely naked down below with only the Samsung branding on the back. Presumably you are supposed to know what phone you're looking at. And to close out this unboxing, we're just going to go ahead and do a boot time comparison because of the carrier splash screen on the Sprint side, just for people who like to know how long they have to wait for their phones to boot. So three, two, one, press and hold on the power button on each. We have buzz on the left and no buzz on the right. GTI 9500, the model number on our global unit there. For anybody curious about that, Samsung animation and music starting on the right. And we'll get some Sprint action on the left here, I predict, shortly. I think this is going to be, uh, yeah, not much of a contest. Uh, even though we haven't set up the international version yet, we're already ready to go here. We're still learning what carriers on the left. We're going to have a whole lot more uh, coverage on the octa-core version of the Galaxy S4 at Pocket Now next week. So make sure and stay tuned for that. And if you missed our American Galaxy S4 coverage this week, make sure and check that out, both here on YouTube and at PocketNow.com. Folks, as I mentioned, we have no shortage of additional coverage on the Galaxy S4 already up at Pocket Now and coming in the weeks ahead. So follow us on social media so you don't miss any of that. Make sure and leave us a like here if you enjoyed the video. Drop a comment down below if you have something to say. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.